In this SOLIDWORKS tutorial, we're going to do a basic drawing from this part we have here. Should be pretty simple. So let's go ahead and now that we have everything fully defined in that part, go to the drawing template. You can see it'll give you the option for different sheet sizes. Right now, we're just gonna do a landscape and it'll give you an idea of the width and height. For larger prints, you're gonna wanna do a sheet C size. So when we, after we select the template sheet size, it'll automatically select our most recent part we created. So we're gonna hit this arrow forward to select OK. And we can begin placing our first view. It'll automatically have the front view selected depending on which plane you set up in your part. That's gonna affect it. So we'll try that out there. Now, I don't like how that's set up, so I'm gonna hit escape, click on that view, and I'm gonna do the left view first, and hit okay. Now, once you place the part, it'll automatically place your part name or number in the box here and if you have description it'll place it there you're gonna want to pull the material depending on what material your part is it'll go there and there's a bunch of other things that have the information displayed about who drew it who engineered it things like that So now we're going to start placing our other views. We're going to select project it off our first view. Place another view there. And we'll place our top view there. And we'll do a nice ISO view in the top right. To change how the part is displayed on the drawing, we can use display style options here. I like to do the ISO in fully defined colors. Now that we have our views set up, we can begin placing our center lines if we want. We can place some center marks in the slot by selecting our radiuses. Select the two edges for a center line. And where it says slot center marks, you can see we just placed our single one there. And we can choose slot ends to place our end center marks. It'll automatically do that. So now we're gonna start placing our dimensions here. We can show our height of the part as three quarters. We can also place our width On this view, we're gonna start placing our length. And our radii call outs.
for our radii, since there's more than one, we can put two times that we don't have to call out every single one. And on this top view, we can either do a detailed view to call out the slot, or since it's not that complicated, we can just draw the dimensions right on this view. So we can call out our slot radiuses, which is also the width. And the slot width, or sorry, length from center to center ends. Now, lastly, we need to call out the location of the slot on this top face. right in the middle. Since it's a through all the way through the material, we don't have to call out the depth of the slot cutout. And that should be it for this part drawing. Um, hope you got a better understanding of how to place your views and dimensions for future drawings. Drop a comment below if you want to see any other drawing tutorials in particular. And we'll see you next time.